Tātou tātou, te wairua. Let's build a better future for our whānau. Voting is now open on our settlement. Te Tira Whakaemi o Te Wairua is about to hold a series of ratification hui across Aotearoa seeking your vote and your support. To approve the deed of settlement and to agree to the roles and responsibilities of our post-settlement governance entity, Tato Tato o Te Wairua. We need your vote for our settlement to continue. If you're over 18 and whakapapa to Te Wairua, then register now to have your say. Go to our website or Facebook page for more information on how to vote. Tato Tato, Te Wairua.
Quand il t'est venu à ta table, 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 il t'est a hai mua koe i a mātau wei i whae i tohu tohu i a mātau mai i katoa. Ko koe e tonu hai i whakakaha i a mātau. Kia whae kuri ai mātau i roto au mahi i katoa. He mea tīmata, he mea mahi, he mea whakaoti i roto i a koe. Kia whiwhi ai mātau ki te ora ngā tonu tanga. I te mea i a te whae tia nei e mātau i te nei rā. Ko i rukurai si to mātau kai i whakaora. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Ureira, tena koe, te wairo. Hei te kite au, ngā kaonohi, hei no te ite nei, whare e o tata. Ngā uri, ngā waihotanga, o ngā mātou. Wena te kōru no, i ruti i tō tātou nei, kōru o mō tēnei rā. Me whaka, whakaaro tātou, a ki o tātou mātou tiku. Te mea hoki nā rātou tēnei moe moe a, hana nā. Nā rātou te mā mai. Nā rātou i whāna kō mai te te krau nā ō rātou whenu. Koe nei tō tātou nei, whawhae o whaka emi. He whaka hoki a mai, te mana te kaha ō tātou mātou tiku. Mo te aha, mo te aha. Mo koe, mo te aha. I nga li da, mo o tata mo hukuna, te mo reki. Nga uri, kai te haru mai. Kai te haru mai. No reina, ka re ni la ma koro i ratu i tēnā kaupapa. I nga li da, ko puta mai koutou, ko puta mai tātou. Nga i runu i te kaupapa, ki te whakaroho. Nga ki te whātai to pēr. Ki tēnei rōpū, te tira whakahimu. E harai, kai roto i ngā tēnei kōrero, ngā ahutanga, kai te whutumai mō tata. Nō rei, mātou tātou atua e manāki tia ki tātou e i roti i tōtou te nei hui. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā tātou koutou. Pene, pene te kura, Hau te kura, Whanake te kura, E rano e a warua, Ko te kura nui, Ko te kura roa, He koro whakamutu no māpū. Ai doa te i tēnei hui. Ko puta mai te ingoa i nai nei mō tō tātou nei. Rōpū. Hare i mō mō tātou. Tēnā ingoa ko tātou tātou o te wai ngō. A mai rāno tēnā kōru no. I o tātou mātou tifu, nā rātou i hōmai tēnā i ngoa, a nā tātou hoki i takua, i runi i tēnā i rōpū i nā nei. Nō reira, e hara tēnei, ko koutou a koutou, 
Kutato, a tato, ka, kutato katoa, a tato. No reira, a tiki hono, tata i hono, rā tau te rūma te kia hata. Ah, tata hoki, te mōra, kia hata. Tēnā tato katoa. Kia hata. Ah, kia ora no tata. My name is Tāma Tiausi, Chief President of Tira Whakamu Nuku Wairua. Before we get started, I'm going to introduce the rest of our crew that are here with us today. The stand guys, we're all around. We'll start at the back here, at the, the back wall. Looking in conspicuous at the end is Oha Manu. Or what comes from Wairua. Over here, Wiki Hauraki. Another one from Wairua. Over here, Si Nikarukura Whakaki. Tuahine Lilia Tāmuri, Ngā Tōhori Mahine Manuri. At the back, Jonina Sainz, Ngā Ti Rā Pai Pā, Mārua Māra. Tuakana nei, Richard Nia Nia, Waiwa Waikura, Waikari Moana Māra Trust Board, Ngā Ti Hine. Kia ora. Leon Sainz, here today, for all my wahine, Ngā Ti Rā Pai Pā. And you've also met, we've all met our Maroa, who's also a, re a representative, Walter Wilson, Uncle Blight. So we are Te Tira, part of Te Tira. Te Tira Whakaimi o Te Wainua has got 28 representatives, that's our government. Half of us think we're crazy. 28 at the table, trying to make a decision. It's normal, plus it's mild. We've been on this journey since 2002. That's where it started. We decided to come together. 2009, we got a mandate to enter into direct negotiation with the Crown. And that's what we've come to present today, the outcome of that work. But we'll get on with that. A couple of things before we start. I haven't got mine with me. Don't mind that. See these? Carry them with us everywhere nowadays. Just like on the Air New Zealand, please put them on. Airplane mode, Wi Fi, uh, send them uh, beside them, please, during our week. Exits, obviously, the door we came in from, something behind the curtain here, I imagine we had a little cheap. But if we hear the sirens and the alarms go, we're out of here. Draw the staff will come and get us and invite us out and take us outside to where we're all supposed to meet. Kawai, funny puppy, you all saw them on your way in, eh? On the right to meet them inside. Feel free, go to the police, the funny puppy, if you need to join the week, take your life. Our week today is divided into uh, thirds. Our first third, which is going to require everyone's uh, ears and eyes. And it's a presentation from the team. And if you're all good after that, then we'll let you add another element to it in your mouth. And we'll have questions and answers. Any questions valid? Now's the time to ask questions, not after when you get home. Although you can still do that. But now's the time to wait while we're all here. Yeah? And then the last part is the most important part. To the fuck of no We'll have a cup of tea. Papi Timo Timo, yeah? And then you can ask any of us, you know, come and introduce yourselves to all of us. If you want to know anything that's going on back home, doesn't have to be treaty related. What's happening at the Marae Cards, da 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 da, all of that, pay the pot. Ato Tato, as Walter pointed out. Kawai? So that's us, that's us for this afternoon, folks. We'll get on with the presentation and then we'll be back up the other day. Kawai. Yeah, did you have something? Uh, yeah, just want to introduce myself as the Crown um, oh. Observer for today. Uh, kia ora, um, Mario Kirahau, um, Timo Kuglaft at the Kaina, Kio Maitau, Karatoia, Ngā Te Runo Iwhu, Mahi, Kopini Kōpi, Tēnei Māku, Tēnei Rā, 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 Sorry, there was something. Yes, we do have Crown Observer, so coming around the books with us and then we'll be able to... Kawai? 
the snot there where he misses out. And we've had our time with them. Secondly, that was the last thing, camera. We're live streaming all of our hui, all of our public <coughs> ratification hui around the world. We're live streaming them all. Because that's where we are young people exist in this virtual world. And we've been getting lots and lots of people watching the live stream, not just from around Aotearoa or in Australia, but globally. So I suppose it depends what time zone you're in, this might suit. You'll be able to tap in. So lots of people listening, I'm sure lots of people looking too to see if they can see far now in this month or so. No later. Tina Tata, with all of that said and done, we're going to get on with our work. Kia ora. Tēnā koutou katoa. No mai, haere mai. Thank you for joining us today for our ratification information hui. We te tira whakaimi o te wairua, the organisation that has represented you, the Fano, hapu and iwi, who whakapapa to the ancestral waka of Tākitimu and Kura Haupō, in our negotiations with the Crown to comprehensively settle all historical Treaty of Waitangi claims in this area. This hui is an opportunity to learn more about the settlement Te Tira has negotiated for you. The presentation is approximately 20 minutes long. Following the presentation, you will have the chance to ask questions and discuss the settlement. We have allocated a maximum of 30 minutes for questions and answers. Today, you can also vote on the three resolutions, which are outlined on page 6 of the Ratification Information Booklet. If you are not a registered member of Te Tira, you can register and vote today. You'll be able to cast your vote in the provided ballot box at any time throughout the hui. Voting yes will support our settlement and allow us to move forward. We are holding nine hui across Aotearoa in Wairua, Ahuriri, Te Whanganui Atara, Rotorua, Kirikiriroa, Tamaki Makaurau, Papaioia, Wai Hōpai and Ōtautahi. The information presented at each hui is exactly the same and will cover our journey to settlement, the stages involved in negotiating with the Crown and the process to this point. Voting. As beneficiaries, you have the right to decide. In this section, we'll explain how and when you and your whānau can vote. The deed of settlement. As part of the voting, we'll ask you to vote yes to accept the deed of settlement. In this section, we'll look at what's included and what this means for us, ngāiwi me ngā hapū o te rohe o te wairua. The settlement package. We'll explain what's included in the settlement, such as financial compensation, cultural acknowledgements and whenua, as well as the new relationships that will be established with government and council organisations. If our settlement gets the green light, it will become law. So we'll need a new trust to administer and manage our assets. We'll explain more about Tato Tato o Te Wairua and the voting process involved in electing its trustees and agreeing that Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust be the post-settlement governance entity that will receive and manage redress on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua We'll finish with a question and answer session where you'll have the opportunity to ask any questions you have. We've reached a significant stage in our negotiations with the Crown. Now it's your turn to have a say. We need your vote for the settlement to progress. Te Tira encourages you to vote yes on the following three resolutions. I, as a member of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua, Accept the deed of settlement for one comprehensive settlement of all historical Treaty of Waitangi claims between the Crown and Iwi and Hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. I agree that the Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust be the post-settlement governance entity that will receive and manage redress on behalf of the Iwi and Hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. I agree that the initial trustees of the Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust sign the deed of settlement on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua.
We have some beautiful young people and not so young people that have trained are lawyers, accountants, bank managers, etc., etc. People like me, we need to gracefully back out. We've done our job in negotiation. And in this group of people that we have within our rohi of all my wahine, there are very skilled people that can really help their generations as well in their futures to come. Our rangatahi are here today. They're not the future tomorrow. They are here today. And it would be great to see them come on board and offer the skills, whether in the reo, whether in the culture, within the tikanga. We are here to support them, not for them to support us. The journey to settlement. Treaty of Waitangi claims in our district have a long and significant history dating back to the early 1980s. In 2002, Iwi and Hapu met and decided that we should work together to progress our claims across the district under the auspices of the Wairua Working Group. This was the genesis of Te Tira Whakaemi o Te Wairua. In 2009, Te Tira Whakaemi o Te Wairua had its mandate approved, which allowed us to negotiate with the Crown on your behalf. It's taken a lot of hard work but Te Tira Whakaemi believes we've reached the best deal possible for our iwi and hapu. In May this year, around 50 members of Te Tira travelled to Parliament to initial our deed of settlement. Now, we're in the ratification stage, where we need as many of our people to cast a vote and have a say. If approved and passed into law by Parliament, our new post-settlement governance entity will manage the following stage. This is where we'll receive recognition and have the agreed assets returned to us by the Crown. Voting on the three resolutions began on the 15th of July. You need to cast your vote by 5pm Friday the 26th of August for it to count. The total number of votes we receive matters, so please vote as soon as possible and help us to spread the message to your whānau to get involved. So how do you vote? By now, you should have received a ratification pack that includes an information booklet and a voting paper. With this voting paper, you can vote in one of three ways. Online, by heading to our website, tetirafakaimi.iwi.nz and following the instructions. You'll need the PIN number and password located on your voting paper. This is the best method, as there'll be no chance your vote will be lost in the mail. We recommend this method to registered members living overseas also. By voting online, you'll also receive an instant notification when your vote has been received. You can also vote by post. You'll need to fill out the original voting paper you've been supplied, as photocopies won't be accepted. Clearly tick yes or no next to each of the three resolutions. Put this in the free post envelope you receive in your pack and post the letter back. Votes posted on the closing date will only be counted if they are received within three days, so vote early to avoid missing the deadline. Or, if you have a completed voting paper with you today, you can put this in the ballot box provided. Voting is open to all Te Tira Whakaimi o Te Wairua registered members, including those overseas who are aged 18 and over. For those not registered, we have special voting packs available today that include a registration form to complete at the same time as your voting paper. The voting helpline is also available to call if you need to request a special voting pack, need a replacement voting form or have any questions relating to the voting process. The entire voting process, including the helpline, is managed by an independent company called Elections. They are based in Christchurch and have no association to any of our iwi or hapu. This ensures fairness and confidentiality. An independent returning officer has been appointed by Elections to verify all votes and check each voting paper against the register. For that reason, it's important that you only vote once. Let's now look at the deed of settlement that we've negotiated, which we encourage you to vote yes to. The deed of settlement will fully and finally settle all historical Treaty of Waitangi claims of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. 
the benefits of the settlement will be available to all members who whakapapa to the ancestral waka of Taki Timu and Kurahaupo, which is approximately 34,000 of us. If you would like more detailed information about who the settlement is for and the historical claims covered, you can find this on pages 17, 18 and 19 of your information booklet. Let's now look at the deed of settlement. This includes a Crown Apology, an Agreed Historical Account, Crown Acknowledgements of Treaty Breaches, a Cultural Redress Offer, and Financial and Commercial Redress. The Crown Apology is intended to be a practical and constructive way of addressing the hurt previously inflicted on the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua by the Crown. The Apology shows the Crown's desire to move forward and build a new relationship based on the Treaty of Waitangi that will work for our current and future generations. The historical account plays an important part in the Crown's apology, as it's an agreed statement that records our history with the Crown. It includes mentions of war, Lake Waikare Moana and Te Urewera National Park, land purchases and the resulting consequences, including socio-economic deprivation. It's a statement that took a lot of negotiation, time, evidence and findings from the Waitangi Tribunal to create. It's important background information that shows why the deed of settlement is necessary. In creating the historical account, the Crown has acknowledged and taken responsibility for a number of historical breaches in relation to the Treaty of Waitangi. This is of course something that we and our Komatua have fought for for a long time and is significant. These acknowledgements are what led us to the redress and compensation that we're about to explain. The cultural redress recognises the traditional, historical and spiritual associations our people have with whenua and sites owned by the Crown in Aurohe. The deed grants permission to work alongside a range of organisations to protect, enhance and conserve each of these valued sites. For this to happen, the following working relationships will be established. A relationship between the Wairua District Council, the Hawke's Bay Regional Council and our newly formed post-settlement governance entity. This will include letters of introduction to both councils. And Te Rohe o Te Wairua Reserves Board, Mā Tangiro, will work with the Wairua District Council to administer and manage a mix of their reserves. There will also be a range of relationships with the Ministry of Environment, Department of Conservation, Department of Internal Affairs, and relevant departments in relation to Crown Minerals and Paonga Tuturu protocols. We'll also work with the Hawke's Bay Regional Planning Committee, Te Papa Tongarewa, and the Urewera Board. On top of this, we'll also be able to create a social and economic revitalisation strategy framework for our iwi, led by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, and including the Ministries of Education, Health, Social Development, Primary Industries, Te Punikokiri and others. All of our new relationships will help us to look after places that we care about and move forward to a better future. The deed includes detail about specific sites in Te Rohe o Te Wairua that the Crown has acknowledged we have connections to. Here is a summary of what is included. Five sites to be returned to us and then gifted back. Kumi Pakarai Conservation Area, Mahia Peninsula Scenic Reserve, Morere Springs Scenic Reserve, Otoki Government Purpose Wildlife Management Reserve, Terenga Scenic Reserve Property A. For a complete list of what the sites are and what type of redress applies to each, refer to page 16 of your information booklet. The Crown has also agreed to financial compensation. The total value is 100 million. This is made up of $88,964,250 in cash. The remaining financial package is made up of a 50% share in the Patunamu Forest valued at $2,465,750. A 50% share in Farerata Forest valued at $3,570,000 and an on-account payment of $5 million. 
The settlement will also include accumulated rentals from the shares in the forests and interest earned on the entire financial redress. Another form of redress is commercial. There are 24 deferred selection properties. The deed provides our post-settlement governance entity with the right to purchase these properties for a number of months following the settlement date. There are a further 147 properties which, when they are offered for sale, our post-settlement governance entity will have an advantage to purchase. This is called a right of first refusal. The properties are currently held by the Department of Conservation, Housing New Zealand Corporation, Land Information New Zealand and the Office of Treaty Settlements Land Bank. We are all aware there will never be the settlement that is required to settle things properly as far as the Tiriti was concerned. That will never, that'll never occur, but what we can get through settlement, uh, we look forward to that, to uh, to help uplift our people. To settle our claims with the Crown, we also need you to vote yes. I agree that the Tato Tato or Te Wairua Trust be the post settlement governance entity that will receive and manage redress on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. And yes, I agree that the initial trustees of the Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust sign the deed of settlement on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. The trust deed is the legal document that will govern the post-settlement governance entity, or PSGE, our trust, and determine how it will operate to manage the settlement redress. Tato Tato o Te Wairua is the PSGE that we've agreed on after much consideration. The Crown has also given its approval for this entity. Once the settlement goes ahead, Tato Tato o Te Wairua will receive and administer the settlement redress and any future assets. In the initial two-year period, the Trust will sign the deed of settlement, follow the review process and consult with representatives of our iwi and hapu in regards to purchasing new assets, follow the work plan agreement when deciding asset ownership, form working relationships for cultural redress sites, maintain records for reporting, and organise and manage initial trustee elections. If you would like more detailed information about the trust deed, you can find this on pages 21 and 22 of your information booklet. Deciding who will be our initial trustees for Tato Tato o Te Wairua will involve three stages. Nominations will take place in September 2016 followed shortly after with voting over two weeks. Our chosen initial trustees will be appointed by mid-October in time to sign the deed of settlement. We Te Tirafakaimi o Te Wairua will hold the initial trustee elections. Registered members of Iwi and Hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua, aged 18 and over, will be able to nominate and vote for the 14 trustees. As a voter, You'll belong to a kahui, also known as a cluster. Seven hui will be held and you will be able to attend the hui that is for your kahui. At your hui, you'll be able to elect two initial trustees. One trustee is to be ahika, and the other trustee non-ahika. While we won't be conducting a full postal ballot for these initial trustees, 
we're going to set up online voting, as well as encouraging as many of us as possible to return to your kahui meeting. To understand which kahui you belong to, refer to page 26 of your information booklet. More information about the initial elections will be sent out once the voting for the deed of settlement and trust is complete. From a personal uh, perspective, I have this belief that um, the treaty settlement money uh, that is uh, due to us, I have this view that you know, sort of um, it doesn't belong to me, but it belongs to those people who are coming behind me. And what I'm referring to is my, my children, uh, my mokopuna, my cousin's children, his mokopuna, and everybody else who has um, a, a connection to this district. So let's remind ourselves what needs to be voted on. We need you to make a decision on our future by voting on the settlement that we have negotiated. We encourage you as a member of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua to vote yes to the following three resolutions. To accept the deed of settlement for one comprehensive settlement of all historical Treaty of Waitangi claims between the Crown and iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. To agree that the Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust be the post-settlement governance entity that will receive and manage redress on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. To agree that the initial trustees of the Tato Tato o Te Wairua Trust sign the deed of settlement on behalf of the iwi and hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairua. Remember voting for these three resolutions closes 5pm 26 of August 2016. Once voting closes, we'll be advised if we've received sufficient support. To do this, the Crown takes into account factors such as the number of registered adult members, the percentage of registered members that voted, and the percentage of voters that voted yes. If there's not sufficient support, our settlement will not progress. With this in mind, it's important to realise that now is our time to shape our future for the better. If you have not registered, it's not too late. Please register and vote yes to support our settlement. Tautoko hia, uh, manaki tia, uh, tēnei take a tātou. Uh, mō ngā tamariki mokopuna kai te kāri anō kia whānei mai. Ko rātau ngā mea tēno uh, ngā kaunui te ana au uh, uh, kia rātau. Ah, the air unborn. And uh, the potential and the opportunities that it represents uh, for future generations. Yeah. We'll now have questions and answers. Before we do, we have the following ground rules. Please respect others and remain quiet so that their question can be heard clearly. Please identify yourself when you speak, as we have to record your name in our meeting minutes. Please keep questions related to the deed of settlement and trust deed for our post-settlement governance entity, PSGE. Nō reira from all of us at Te Tira Whakaemi o Te Wairua, kia kaha ki te rehita me te pōti. Tēnā tātou katoa. So that's our presentation. <coughs> we outlined why we're here. A wee bit more context around it. So as I said earlier, Te Tira Whakaimi went out around the motu as we've done today. In 2009, we sought a mandate from all of our, as many of our phenomena as possible, to enter into direct negotiations with the Crown, to settle all of our historical claims across the Rohe or the wide world. And in doing that, going into that, eyes wide open. And what I mean by that, and it's a key message we've been giving all around the motu to get the best 
sequence that we can't. We mustn't kill ourselves if it's the most it's the fairest or most just settlement. Because that's not what they're about. They're about political compacts between claimants and the crown. Kareta de Fakatina Maki de Polio e Nido Finuatu me hoki finua ma. The crown can't it will not put into treaty settlements land that was taken and is now in private ownership as an example. They can't raise our deed that they murdered. Any of those things. So they're not fair and they're not just. They're political compacts. So in seeking that mandate and in coming together that was our clear direction to our negotiations team. In amongst our reps today, some of them were part of that negotiations team. To seek the best settlement that we can. And again, that's why we're here today. Because the Tira Kapini or the Waiwash believes we have reached the best settlement that we can. And now, we're going out and around the water again, we're reaching out to everyone and empowering you all to make your rightful decision on that. Of course, we're saying, I, I, I. Because I'd be really worried if I was here saying, oh, no, you say, Carl. Yeah? I, I, I. That's that. Second. Back to this thing. The tira was mandated. <coughs> Give a settlement. And we've had to focus on that task. And in doing so, we've had to make key decisions about what remains within that mandate and what is outside. In other words, our job was to get a settlement, not to come up with a plan for what's after and what's to come. But there's some big issues still unresolved. And we now get to that point what's to come. And that's why we are recommending that Tato Tata will be way more trust. And trustees are only interim two years. Two year period. And they have to answer a whole series of questions, issues, come up with a longer term plan permanent structure, yada, yada, yada. You say structure as it exists, and what we're recommending, we still reflect a bit of where the tita is at. Okay? So that's our compromise. It's not like that initial trust is going to hit the 100 million, all the assets, or yada, yada. That doesn't occur up until settlement day. Settlement day is the day that the settlement is passed into law, parliament, not the day we sign the deed. So that could take anywhere from six months to 18 months to 24 to 36. And we've got a general election coming up soon within the year. So all of those things will impact. In the meantime, they have a set amount of boot of $5 million and a very clear mahi to do. Uh, right? Uh, it's that context. Uh, uh, so you all know. Two reds, ahika, non ahika. Don't get hooked on, don't get hooked up on that. Key thing are the right skills take us through this next phase of right skills. And they can come from anywhere. Because that's part of what their statement means. They help kids are going to provide those skills as they come through. So, what we're saying is this process though, take a tick or do, ma wai ra te ahi ka e go, ma te ahi ka to. So, 
the stress period we say ahika come together and choose a representative if there's more than one put them up the boat yeah? non ahika well that's open to all of us skill sets two years set work program that's that stuff that's just a wee bit of context through the context around the stuff. Are there any questions? Yelda, can you please identify yourselves as really It's important for the Crown official. Yelda. Um, if <coughs> this doesn't go through and we don't vote yes, then do you go back and try and resettle with the Crown, or is this the Crown's only offer of settlement? This is the Crown's full and final offer. So if this isn't voted in by us, then there's going to be no further offer of settlement ever again? No, it's not necessarily the case. It's not necessarily the case. The first thing, though, before that, if our people say no, we don't accept, <coughs> This uh, settlement, the tina is obliged to analyse why. We need to know why our people are saying no. That's the first thing. So that then we can understand what is being missing. Now, in terms of the crown, there are instances where these settlements have been declined. When I know about it, it sticks to comes to mind quickly is Whakatoria. Where the Crown made Whakatoria a full and final offer. It's Whakatoria declined. Okay? Whakatoria, that was just uh, around the same time as the Nunga Kaduri, timely settlements, quite near to the sun. Whakatoria are currently in the throngs of seeking a mandate to lead to negotiations. Kapai? You're very quiet. Cold. Cold, yeah. It was cold at Wellington this morning, I tell you, it was warm out here, I'm with you now. You still apologise, eh? Uh, the heating is broken in this room apparently. We just had to huddle closer together. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, I'm going to go to the the with the settlement. Uh, oh, uh, apologies uh, to the committee. Uh, thank you for your hard work and considering this and uh, <coughs> doing all the math, we know what it's like. You know, being a, my tahuga, it took a long time for Tahu to come along with uh, Pātimāmu and what they have But um, with, with the, the settlements, are they are all the cultural grievances, is that going to take in, in line with uh, all their customary rights and the novel painga of the old? Are they going to be redressed and, and so that the old people and the new people can go and stay at these novel painga sites? Yes. Um we have not negotiated anything that new or different to any other even. Uh, again, it, it shows you that this is not a fair and just process. These parameters, and the crowns apply that to all mounds. They matter which mounds it is, get up to their house. This is a these are within negotiations, these are. So yes, we've followed the example of other Ivy. We've talked to other Ivy through this process and learned from them going into negotiations, what's the pitfalls, what's the da 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 All of that is why I picked up the car, because some of them don't belong to Arnold and Crown's privy anymore. You know, private land, I picked up the car, da 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 But certainly for all the Crown uh, sites, they are why I picked up the car. All of our cultural interests takes into account all of those things. It's not a perfect settlement, not gonna, Try two bars. Show me one. Show me one. But we think we've done our best. Mm -hmm. This is 
Yeah. <laughs> We've been around the Mutu, all around the Mutu, as we showed. This is our second to last gig. Tomorrow we'll be out with the Whanau there in Christchurch. We're hoping for a quick week tonight, because you don't forget it. Don't forget, you know, you don't forget, 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 you forget, A couple of things here. In coming tonight, we want to thank you all very because we're really happy to see all of our farmers around the Mutu. It's really important that you register, that you vote. We have your say. And in coming tonight, we want to thank you of just joined our army. We need foot soldiers, we need warriors, we need people to go out to their farmer and tap each of their farmer on the shoulder and say, you registered guys, he's the sign and he's the moon, go do it. We really do need that. The more the merrier. Spread the word. <coughs> We've got whānau online now, as our comms man has told us from Australia. Watch it. So spread the word. We're on the Facebook. Yeah? We're on the internet. We're on all that stuff. Get them in there. We're all our soldiers. How many do we need? As many as possible. What's it going to take? Well, how long's a piece of string? It comes down to political will. That's the presentation set, the crown. And that's code for the bureaucrats. <laughs> we'll look at a number of numbers. How many registered? How many voted? What percentage is that of those registered who voted? Then how many of them said yes? And then, well, apply Einstein's theory of uh, relativity over the top of that. And, oh, it spits out a number. Yep. Then they'll chop off to their political masters. I see their nice little briefing and their report and their recommendation. And it's at that point as it comes political to it. Yeah. Mm. If the ministers feel that there is minimal risk to them saying we accept, then that's when we open it up. Kapoi? So the more the merrier. And we're not kidding ourselves, no one to date has been able to uh, register you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of their people going into this stuff. Hey. We're up to around 3,000 people at the moment. That's saving well for us. We set, we set an aspirational goal. We'd be up like between five and seven. So come on, warriors. If you all get five people each, your Maoris, I'm sure you've got more than five in your family. <laughs> five people each. They have to push us closer to their campaign. Yeah. So that's a big thing for us. That's a real thing for us. Still no questions? Well, how are we getting on? Oh, kia ora. James uh, Roy, Dr. Hunt. How do we get on with our cousins from Tuvalu? Very well. Okay. We had been very lucky in our journey in terms of our overlapping interests with other iwi, not just Tuvalu. Uh, Manuhiri to the north in the Gisborne settlement area, our <laughs> whānau. You know, just on the other side of the hill. Mm -hmm. hey. And then our other whānau to the south of Rosnati Pahoe. Real easy to, mm -hmm. to agree. Because you can get caught up in all of these. Uh, you can get into these perspectives that just take you down mm -hmm. a rabbit's war. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we agreed early up in, in our negotiations with our phenomenon was we're not going to, we don't want to hold anyone up. Two, we're going to recognise our phenomenon. 
or three, whatever happens after that, after this, you still wouldn't be our neighbours. So we had good discussions with all of them. Agreed with some really well. Right, two boy? <coughs> well, a bit of complication there, eh? They settled, we've got the Uriwera, Waikari Moana, we've got interests up into there, sitting somewhere in between that. Another, another important tipu no doubt, all of us, Urua Pani, who we all recognise. Yeah? So we've had discussions. And we came up with an agreement where we're going to have a relationship, a direct relationship uh, with the Uriwera board in terms of the southern Uriwera. Yeah? We're not interested in Ruata, Huna, Waimana, those areas. We're interested in our interest areas. So we're going to have to work together with them. People have asked us why not go on the board. Well, we had a number of options, and the end of us said, well, if we ask for a board place, it'll be one of eight. I'll vote it every time. We have hang on this way, your board, our PSGE, lead by our Hapu and Iwi, who have the interests in that area, have to work together. That's a good outcome for us. Must be good because they be still talking to each other. That's been our approach. Uh, yeah, just, just one more question uh, regarding to our cultural needs and um, their water rights, coastal yeah. rights, is that something that... Not that part of this settlement, because uh, it's the marine and foreshore yeah. mm. um, stuff that's trans, um, transferred into the MACA, a <coughs> marine and coastal area claims, yeah. which are progressed separately to this. So Just like the customary fishery stuff, but it's not covered in these claims, it's separate. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, so, for example, the Nahia Peninsula, mm -hmm. but that is just in fact that right of ownership of the foreshore seabed. It's not ownership? resolved under this claim. It's different. It's a different negotiations process post, again. Post settlement. No, different again. Not post settlement. It's a different process you do with the crown over any any of the coastal. Mm -hmm. Green stuff, yeah? Different process altogether. I think Na Ngati, the only two engaged in it at the moment is Ngati Pro and Ngati Pahauia. Yeah. They're, they're using them as the tests to put this new oh. process through. Cool. The, uh, the river, the, uh, the, the damage uh, with the river, those guys that broke the dam. Uh, there's a lot of hubby on that river, isn't it? And it's all quiet. Most of the river. Yeah. How do we get on that? So, in terms of that stuff, in Regional, a law name, Hawke's Bay Regional Council, spans from central Hawke's Bay all the way up to our end. Then, you to go. And <coughs> due to previous settlements, you know, it's in Mahogana, Manahabu, Nini. They all had an agreement with the Crown to form this joint planning committee with the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, which we inherit as part of our settlement. There's a lot of teeth in that committee, and is there with the council, council member, regional council members, and members from each of those settlement groups, going through all of that stuff. So all the policies, all of that stuff for the regional council have to be signed off by the JPC. That's what we've got there. Under the settlement too, as was mentioned, we've also got a new relationship with the wider district council. And that's to govern some reserves, and that's the Mahatangi reserves for. That will expand over time. Which brings me to an important point, Enikuma, uh, actually, talking about that. Moving forward, post-settlement, the key thing to remember 
These are of historical claims. The Pana ki te haukau. Nga whinua, nga mahi, nga aha, o te karauna ki te kaina. Irangi, ko ngā hua, the benefits of the claim of the settlement, mā tātou katoa. Nga uni whakahi. Ne? Those are two key balancing points for settlement. We need a strong kaina. Hey, we need a strong kaina. So we've negotiated a few elements of the settlement to help with that. Our socio-economic revitalization strategy, which is the last whole government agreement to work with us on how we can change things back home for the better. Okay? We need to centre our cultural development, teaha, 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 ki te kaina. Ki a kaua e angi angi ngā pai kōrero, ngā pai karanga, ngā kāuta, ngā aha, ngā aha, me o rana wāku. Ni. That's a key for us, but also ngā tātou katoa. That's a challenge place of many, many Egypt. 34,000 was our estimate, only 9,000, about 9,800 in Wairua, 62% uh, of them are Māori, that's the, the, just under 5,000. It shows you the vast majority of us live. <coughs> All around the world. That's us now, that's our future. And the more skill sets we can get interacting, this stuff is teaching us a lot, you know. Mm. It really is. It really is. And reaching now. We're going to need to adapt, change for our young ones. Indeed, it is. Which is another important point. We must not get hooked up on the big ticket item in the settlement. Hey, the Talas. Me? You mustn't get hooked up on the hundred million dollars. Saving money. And what I mean by that is that what, it, what we need to look when we look at that, what we need to think about is our future, our potential, our, our opportunities, and our potential. And that's what it symbolizes. We didn't get into this for the money. We did bringing the best deal. That was just a result of real good negotiations. Push us up there. But that opportunity in their future is what's drive what drove them. And it's about reconstituting ourselves. Yeah. Our Fano, our Hapu, our Iwi, our Marae, reconstituting ourselves. We're Maori, we're Fanoma, we have Tikara, we have Kawa, we have Reo, we take those things with us wherever we go. And we don't apologise for that. We all have the same dreams and aspirations for our Tamariki and our Mokopuna. And that's what's driving all of that. That's what it symbolises, and that's the challenge. So the other part of that, eh? So that's going backwards, that's the young ones. <coughs> that middle part, Tato. <coughs> and unfortunately, Tato, we are the burden generation. And what I mean by that is our burden is to carry this and finish it. Not to inherit the benefits. <coughs> That's our tamariki and our mokopuna. Because benefits from this, true benefits flowing out, ain't going to happen 25 days after it started. It's taken us 170 years to get, 70 plus years to get to where we are today. It's going to take us a while to unwind some of that. Kia tūtanga tāri tātou. Māori mā, kūtōre nō tātou wakifi. That's the other really important point. 
You know, I'm saying all of this trying to give you time to think of questions. <laughs> no, no, all good. See, look, fast we. I hope you haven't drive, driven. Who's driven to anyone here from outside of Invercargill? Dunedin. Dunedin? The Tauri. The Tauri. How long from Dunedin to get here? Three hours. Three hours. Matauri? Matauri? How long is that? An hour. Who else? Mm -hmm. Fluff. Fluff. <laughs> 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 That's been good, eh? We've got a man to our hood. We have tried to centralize it. So that farmer from all parts can come to me. Thank you for coming on those travels. It obviously means a lot to you. And it should do. That's the important thing. It's important thing. It should do. And this is the settlement of our historical grievances. And when we do settle and when we do sign, we want as many of us to come back as possible and participate in that historical occasion. Come and share, come and celebrate, come and breathe, all of those things. It's really important. We only claim money. We only claim money. So, let's day, go going once, <laughs> twice, <laughs> sold. We're going to have a cup of tea after this, so eh? mm. have a poor little little. We're going to finish with a karakia. So we've got to eat them already for our new wife, for our new trust. You all know it. We all know it. We'll sing it together. Two tira mai mai. Ah, na re re igua. Koi nei tu matau reo karaki e tangi a today kia koe. Iro to ite pu kai kaha tangi e kimi ana ira koe nei te maro matanga ite oronga tun tanga nuoki. Koe nei a hu tanga e igua e mea tuku te waro waro. Iru ngai te mo hio kita horo mona i fa katau ki tia. Ara me fa katau a tua matau nga kau ki te fa kau. Fili na ki atu kia koe, a me kau a mātou e oki oki i rungo i o mātou ake, mātou ranga. He mea tuku anō e i hoa i runga i te whakāro. Ko koe a i hoa, ko koe to mātou kaihanga to mātou kai poke poke, a ko mātou a au tamariki. Ho i anō he tangi nā ngā tamariki ki te matua, kia arohaina mai, kia manaaki hia mai, kia tuku nā iho ka te wairua taku hai i whakatū peratia mai kia mātai, ngā kū waha o te tika, o te pono, o te māramatanga, o te oranga tunutanga, a me te mātaura. A ma mātau hugi e whakakuroria ki tua ingoa tapu, kia ta mōhi o ai mātau ko koe a i hoa, kuroria ki tua ingoa tapu. Te wairua. Let's build a better future for our Fano. Voting is now open on our settlement. Te Tira Whakaemi o Te Wairua is about to hold a series of ratification hui across Aotearoa seeking your vote and your support. To approve the deed of settlement and to agree to the roles and responsibilities of our post settlement governance entity, Tato Tato o Te Wairua. 
We need your vote for our settlement to continue. If you're over 18 and whakapapa to Te Wairua, then register now to have your say. Go to our website or Facebook page for more information on how to vote. Tato Tato, Te Wairua.